Kahumanu, would you describe to us what happened that day? The Kapu system said women were not equal to men. Men ate in one hale, while the women ate in another hale with the children. As I shared this concern with the king, he came and ate at the hale of the women. No more Kapu system. Kapu system broke it. When I asked King Liho Liho what to do about our gods and religion, he said, as you wish. I got so excited. I got a torch and I burned all the idols and all the Heiau temples on this land. All the people followed this example. And one by one, the Kapu and all the idols supporting them were destroyed. All the gods were done and the people awaited a new faith. When the missionary long neck first came to Hawaii, a very proud woman, I did not want to receive their religion, not understanding that it's not a religion, it's a relationship with this Jesus. But one day, the missionary came to visit me, and I had them wait for one hour while I feasted and gambled. Finally ready, I let them in. I had them sit down and talk story. They shared to me of this God that is a God of all nations, that is a God that is a forgiving God, that loved me just the way that I am. I so happy, so changed, that the next day I decided to go to church. And I asked the missionaries for 40 books that my people will learn to read and write of this God. That now my people call me Ka'ahu Manuho, the new Ka'ahu Manu, born of the Holy Spirit of God. As we learned of this book in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19, it says, Go ye therefore, teaching all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, It is true that Kahumanu was a very strong and influential queen. She loved to show her authority. But before she knew the word of God, many people were afraid to enter her hale. When she would get mad, her eyes would turn red and her mouth would explode with swear words like the spouting of a whale. <laughs> But all this changed as Ka'ahu Manuho became a true friend and a believer to the true God. Many a journey, long journey through the outer districts, humbling herself and preaching and sharing the Word of God. Her people knew that she was changed. And she knew and told her people that it was by following Christ and the Bible that the king, kingdom of Hawaii and its government will endure. 